Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Klink, and today we're taking a look at picture profiles. So we're gonna start by going for a walk here. I'm gonna shoot a couple different picture profiles, then we're gonna jump inside, talk about them, what are they, how she use them, when she use them, and which ones do I use, and I'll show you guys my settings that I use. All right, let's get into it. got so cold that was short-lived. Sorry about the lack of footage, but let's take a look at it. Let me see. All right, so let's talk about picture profiles. Now there's a lot of different options and you can customize these Sony cameras so, so much with different things with picture profiles and what gamut you're gonna be using in there's just a lot of settings. So it can get a little complicated. And I've come to the conclusion that the ones that I use are HLG2, like you saw from the videos there previously, HLG2 and S-Log2. Now I came to that conclusion from reading a lot of forums, Reddit, watching videos, and doing my own research and tests. Those are my favorite two. Now from these two, 98, 99% of the time, I just use HLG2. Now the big reason why I do that is because I'm shooting on A7 III, which has 8-bit footage. Now, if you want to understand the difference between 8-bit and 10-bit footage, maybe watch a video, read up on it a little bit. Basically, 10-bit has more information than 8-bit. There's a lot more information, actually, in color information. So when you're editing with 8-bit footage and you're editing S-Log footage, which if you've ever seen S-Log footage before, it's very flat, and then you try to stretch it, you're actually don't have enough information. Sorry about the oversimplification of this for some more advanced people, but you don't have enough footage to be able to stretch it and be able to produce a good image. You have noisy shadows, you have introducing banding. Um, sometimes your skin starts looking like plasticky because it's all one tonal value and it doesn't have like, right now you can see dark getting brighter over here. When you have S-Log2 footage and you try grading it, sometimes you get all your skins looking like the same color, same range, and it just looks really fake and plasticky and people complain and say, why does my footage look like this? Well, that's why because we're editing with 8-bit footage and not 10-bit footage. So my basic rule of thumb is if I don't need the extra dynamic range that S-Log provides, I just use HLG2, which is a great option because it's a hybrid log gamma and it also looks really good out of the camera. You don't have to do much to it um, and I like grading it and it is very flexible. So from the examples that you guys saw there, you also notice that the S-Log footage did have better dynamic range, but it was harder to grade I'm not a pro colorist here, so I just did the best I could with the S-Log footage, and um, I did it pretty quickly, so it just gives you an example of kind of the long process that S-Log footage can give you. So when should you use both? Basically, I use HLG2 all the time, unless I need the dynamic range between darks and highlights. If you see that video from when I'm under the bridge, that's a great example of the highlights would have been clipped, which they did clip on the one shot, versus the other shot that you can see a little bit more clouds on the S-Log2 shot. And in those kind of shots, I will switch sometimes to S-Log2, very rarely. Usually I choose either to expose to the brights, to the highlights, or I choose to expose to the shadows. And I just pick one or the other, and that's usually how I frame my shots. Or I just don't get myself in situations where I need that extra dynamic range. And if you guys wanna know a little bit more about HLG2 and S-Log footage and how to grade them properly, go ahead and watch a Gerald Undone video. I'll link it down in the description below. He does a great job at explaining the conversion LUTs that you need and how to get them from manufacturer's websites, such as I get the S-Log2 conversion LUT from Sony's website. You can download them there. Or if you're using Canon or C-Log, you can get those from the manufacturer website. And Gerald Undone just does a great job at explaining the HLG2, S-Log2, different curves and why you can't just grab S-Log2 footage and just put contrast and saturation like a lot of people do because the curves are not linear. Anyways, go watch that video. It's a great video if you want to understand more about S-Log, HLG2, what that all means and picture profiles and all that sorts of stuff. Let's get into my camera. Let me show you guys the HLG2 settings that I use. All right, so I've mapped my button to C3. On C3, it takes me to picture profiles and I use picture profile four. That's where I've got um, the HLG2. 
Now under here, uh, Picture Profile 4 won't have HLG2 by default, so you do have to change it. That's your gamma, and I've chosen HLG2. HLG3 is also pretty good, but I did like the highlight roll off off of the HLG2 better. So that's the one I've picked here. Black level, I've put it to two. If you put it higher, basically your black level is getting more gray, and the lower it is getting more black. So I just put mine to positive two. Your black gamma, leave it at middle. Knee, leave it at auto. Color mode, I've put Rec 709 here. Uh, this one's also good, but I did like Rec 709 better there. Saturation at zero. Color phase at zero. Color depth, I left all at zero. And the reason I did this is because I actually really like the color that comes out of the A7 III when they updated their color science. All right, well, I hope that was a help to you and you guys enjoyed watching the picture profile settings that I like to use personally. It's a question that I've gotten asked before a couple times now um, through YouTube and Instagram, and um, I thought I would answer that question and show you guys exactly what I like to do. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos and kind of breakdown of what I like to do, let me know in the comments, maybe something else that you guys wanna learn. I'll make sure to make those videos for you guys. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys next week.